Jeremy J here, back at you with another video. How are y'all doing this fine Friday night? I hope you're doing good, or well, or however you say that. And uh, I was thinking about what video I should do today, and it came to my mind to talk about self-acceptance. This is something I have struggled with for my entire life. So I want to talk a little bit about it. What are the things that are, how do I say this? What are the things that I've struggled with self-accepting about myself? So let me talk about a few of those. One, I am a little bit shy. I am a little bit shy, especially around groups of people I don't know. It's a little awkward for me, which is, funny because I love to do public speaking in front of large groups of people and I love meeting new people but for whatever reason put me in a group of people I don't know and it's a little awkward so that doesn't mean I couldn't overcome that it just isn't is I remember going to church dances when I was young and those were awkward too I would just kind of sit by myself and like stare at the floor or I would leave and go sleep in my car or my parents car so social social situations are awkward for me and for the longest time I tried to deny this and just say oh I'm fine I uh, have no awkwardness whatsoever I'm super suave and I've come to learn that no I am just a little awkward, a little nervous, a little shy when it comes to groups and situations or things like that. That's okay. I actually say this because I'm accepting of that. I am accepting of my awkwardness in situations. I'm just awkward. It's okay. It's fine. It's normal. It's good. It is who I am. I am recovering from the spinal fusion surgery and a myriad of challenges and I've learned to accept that. I've learned to accept the health challenges that I've been experiencing. In fact, as I've been working my tail off to heal, I'm incredibly self-accepting. In fact, I'm very encouraging of myself. Uh, I've driven to work many times over the last month and I'm just saying to myself, wow, you're so brave. You are so brave to push forward and not give up through these challenges you've been having. You're so brave to keep pushing forward even after getting divorced and having this child support and kind of starting over your life at age 37 back when I got divorced. You're so brave, Jeremy, for continuing to press forward and working to be a good co-parent and fulfilling your obligations for your child support and alimony and doing it and through a myriad of challenges. You are so brave. I'm proud of you. These are the kinds of conversations I have with myself. A lot of self-acceptance for everything about me, every flaw and perfection. I procrastinate. I do. I procrastinate. I'm a little lazy. I don't like confrontation. That's that's a big one. I don't like to confront people. I just, it's not a natural thing for me. I'm nice. I'm a peaceful guy. I'm that typical nice guy that gets passed over for by a woman for the douchebag asshole, for instance. Um, and I've looked at, I used to think, gosh, if only I were a little more assertive, if only I used to think that and now I am grateful for my empathy and kindness and I look at these as strengths and I no longer am worried about what being a nice guy might cause to happen in my life. These are big changes and the, it's interesting as I've been taking the steps to get my health back and, and continuing this process I am more self-accepting as I've taken effort and steps to eat healthy and push forward through the challenges in my life. My self-esteem is growing. I think self-esteem comes from 
giving effort to overcome and improve and make progress. That's where self-esteem comes from. So, and it also comes from following your heart and your passion and not worrying what anyone else might think of you. That's another aspect of self-esteem. Uh, guy I listen to on YouTube, Gary Vaynerchuk is his name, talks about that and his message resonate, resonated with me and I said yes. I very much agree that self self-esteem is the following of your heart and passions without letting how someone thinks about you affect you. So I'm accepting of my peaceful and kind nature. I'm accepting of it. And I'm also accepting of my working to improve this at work. I'm working to improve my assertiveness and my ability to have difficult conversations in order to further the good of what's going on. I'm working on this. It, it's, a, it's a journey. And I'm accepting of my where I'm at in my life. I'm accepting that I'm going to be continuing to learn every day. And there's things that I need to get better at. And it's a process. I'm accepting of my flaws and weaknesses. I'm, I'm just feeling very accepting of myself, all aspects of myself. So this video is to share that self-acceptance is a wonderful thing and I think it's easier to be self-accepting when you're putting in the effort to get to where you want to go in your life. When you put forth the effort, even if you're failing miserably, which, man, I've spent a lot of time failing miserably, but if you're putting in genuine effort, like real genuine effort, you will start to succeed and see progress. You can't help but succeed and see progress when you put in real genuine effort. And that's what I'm feeling as I continue on in this journey. And I'm now on video 41 of 365. That's boosting my self-esteem, my ability to follow through with my commitments, my ability to follow through with my healthy eating. When I say I'm going to now eat healthy, I don't just say it. I'm putting in my body, celery, green onions, mustard greens, spinach, healthy organic foods and doing it regularly. I'm not just saying it, but the act of doing it, that boosts my self-acceptance and self-esteem. The actual act of doing what I say and think. And this to me is a big part of the journey we're all on, is to develop self-love and self-acceptance. And I, I wouldn't say I'm fully there yet even still learning to accept myself and love myself. I still have much room to grow in that area, but I'm making progress and I'm improving. I'm excited for this journey, excited to be here with all of you, taking action towards improving and developing self-acceptance. And when you can accept yourself and love yourself, then there is nothing anyone can do to hurt you or make you sad um, in large part obviously people can do things to hurt you but you get what I mean that you're being affected by others is is greatly strengthened you're greatly strengthened against the effects of life in others so this is Jeremy J saying work on self-acceptance by taking the actions you set out to do and that will boost your self-esteem and confidence and you got this, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.